This week, on Honu Time. So I found the anchor. It's deep here. We're 20 feet of water. This is absolutely insane. Our anchor alarm has gone off. We've, uh, we've definitely dropped pretty far. We're coming back to this place. This is so pretty. Is Absolutely epic. <laughs> Unreal. Let's take the trail. Yeah. What a beautiful spot. Wow. We're going snorkeling after. Yeah, we are. This is gorgeous here. We're going snorkeling after because in two days' time there's going to be a hurricane here. <laughs> it's not going to be here. No, I'm just it's kidding. It's going to be north. It's going north of here. We had about two days before Brett was about to hit, and we wanted to get in a good headspace. So we thought the best way to do that was to explore this beautiful place and mentally prepare for the craziness that was about to begin. You better believe we were on guard. We've been tracking this storm coming off the coast of Africa for about two weeks now. It started off as a tropical disturbance, then it changed to a hurricane, and right before it hit the Caribbean, it turned into a tropical storm. But this would be the first storm to really hit us. We knew that we could get lower down. But we felt that the giant mountains surrounding the bay offered the best place for us to hunker down while we rode out the most intense 30 hours that we've ever experienced on Hanu. Apparently the snorkeling here is epic. There's, uh, we've been told. Can't guarantee we're gonna see this, but lots of lobster, octopus, rays, tons of fish. Eels. Eels, eh, eels, <laughs> all that great stuff, but I can't wait to see it. There's an awesome spot just over here where we were swimming yesterday that should be for snorkeling. Awesome. Let's rock and roll down this trail. Holy crap, hey? Wow. How's your nerves right now, oh, baby? Oh, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Holy man. Oh, look at these airplanes. Baby. Huh? Oh, yeah. Look at these airplanes. So cool. It's beautiful. What a trail. I love this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> is that the code? Definitely. I think this nail is the one that makes it totally secure. Yeah, totally. Yeah. How wicked.
everybody. So we thought we'd just give you a quick update what's going on here. We're uh, in preparation mode. Hurricane season is definitely upon us now. We have a tropical storm that we've been tracking for about a week and a half and making a decision if we need to go further south than here or not. And uh, we've made the decision that we're gonna stay put here. We feel like this is a pretty safe bay. And it doesn't seem like it right now. No, we got hit last night with some massive squalls, some 60 knot gusts, lightning strikes all around us. It just shook the boat all night long. It's, it's pretty crazy. incredible. So we kind of know what we're in, in for uh, in the next coming days. So today we're taking care of some last minute sort of just things on the boat and we will be uh, prepping for um, this tropical storm. Yeah, these gale force winds that are coming our way. Yeah, so we have a list of things we're going to go through and share with you while we get ready for Brent's arrival. <laughs> so strap yourself in because it's going to get windy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just put down another 20, no, another 30 feet of chain from what we had originally in just to make sure that we've got enough ground tackle to keep us in place and uh, we're set and secure. We didn't want to move the anchor. We were thinking of picking up and going somewhere a little bit closer into shore, but we've been secure here for about four days now and we figured that's better than moving in further. We'll just add a little bit of anchor chain and we're all set. Okay, so we dove our anchor when we first came out here, uh, but we've been here for a couple days and we just want to make sure we're secure and tight before the blow hits tomorrow. So right now we just found the anchor again. Josh is diving on it to make sure it's all good. It's deep here. We're 20 feet of water, but it's a, a little bit of, it's the last bit of sand and it's pulled into some grass. It looks like it's buried in pretty good. Yeah. Not my favorite. I'd like it in just sand, but I have to go down and take one more look. Okay. Sounds good. She's windy, baby. Look at this. It's all good? I think so. Awesome. One of the things we like to do that with our setup is where our bridle comes down in a V like that, we like to drop a big loop of chain down in the middle of that. And all that does is it adds a bunch of weight and pulls the whole chain down. So that when, when the force is pulled on the boat and it starts to pull back, the bridle pulls up on it and that weight will pull up on the chain and then it will come back down keeps the chain flat, which also gives it the, the anchor strength. So as that chain starts to come up, it's starting to pull on the anchor and it can come out. But if you can keep it flat, it actually has a lot more holding power. So we find that the more weight we can put down in there, the better it is to keep it down flat. So after I dove it, I could see that it was still, we're stretched pretty good right now. We're gonna throw down some more chain and pull the bridle in a little bit further. We're secure into the ground. Now it's time to start worrying about what on the boat can become an issue. Uh, one thing that we noticed in other storms that we were in is other people didn't have their head secure, head sails secured well enough um, that when the wind caught it, it started to unfurl it. We noticed just looking at it, once we wrapped it up from sailing it last time, we didn't get enough wraps in it and that's bad. So we have to put a couple more wraps with the sheets just to make sure it's secure. And then I think we're gonna tie a rope around it as well, just for redundancy reasons. So the preparations are continuing. Yeah, we are opting to keep our canvas up for now. We're not gonna get gale force winds. We're gonna get some pretty strong gusts through here. And we know that our canvas is actually pretty good. We're not too worried about the windage at the moment, uh, but we're gonna gut everything in here cushions everything we're gonna get a major rain event and this is not 100% waterproof so we're gonna pull all of our cushions pull everything inside and be ready that if we have to start pulling canvas or at least rolling them all up to let wind through we can do that uh, we're gonna put out our safety lines our um, jack lines so if we need to get up on deck during any of this we're safe that way and uh, we're gonna double up a snubber probably tie a backup one onto our chain road and uh, I think that's about it right now. I think so too. Yeah. We've uh, we've pretty much, woo, except for me, uh, we've pretty much secured everything on the boat that we can. We've taken up down everything that is loose or could fly away. Um, our anchor's been checked, like we said yesterday. We are pretty tight and secure. We just have to do some work for the dinghy so that doesn't uh, shape along the uh, davits because it's rubbing a little bit. And then we wait. 
We got some waiting to do. We have a little bit of yeah, waiting. And you can see do. winds are starting to build and it's early this morning still. So uh, we aren't expecting to probably get the majority of the wind starting until about 6 p.m. tonight. That's only 9 a.m. So things are starting to build and the uh, anticipation and excitement is in the air. It's building too. Yeah. All right, let's get the rest of this project completed. Sounds good. We have now entered the eerie cliché, the calm before the storm. We had tucked into this bay with this mountain behind us here because the storm is supposed to come over the top late tonight. Uh, it still is, but it's not going to have the intensity that uh, was once predicted, it looks like. That's a pretty sky too. We just clocked uh, 180 degrees around. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the part where we're watching really carefully because now our anchor is set backwards from where we had originally set it. And in the next couple hours, it's gonna flip one more time uh, based on how the wind's coming through. Yeah. So right now our back end's facing that way. And then in about three or four hours, we're gonna be facing 90 degrees that way. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is the intense moment where we could possibly drag and have to re hope our anchor resets. Um, it's not blowing badly, which is, we're lucky that that was the case. Like we said earlier, mm -hmm. everything kind of died down today and it's not gusting as strong as they expected. The sustained isn't as high as suspected. So we're now. in pretty good shape. Well, for right now. For right now, which is good. Yes. Cause we, we we're hoping at this point we wouldn't have those crazy, crazy winds that, for now. Yes. At where the winds rotated into the bay here. Our expectation though, is that when we flip to 90 degrees out towards the ocean and the winds are coming up over the mountain behind us, that's gonna be our wind blocker and that's where we're gonna have our high sustained winds and that's gonna be at about two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. We're gonna uh, be getting the tail of the storm. The tail of the storm's gonna start coming this way. So yeah. that's what we're watching right now. Storm watch. Yeah. <laughs> Anger watch. Anger watch. Yeah. It's crazy. But uh, you know what? It's it's better than we expected it was going to be. And so far, so good. So let's just hope we're stay on that positive, good track. And we'll just we keep an eye on the anchor alarm for the next bunch of hours and just make sure that we don't slide. Yep. Okay, well things are starting to get sporty and spicy in here now. Yeah, it's about 11.30 right now. And we're gusting at about 25 at the moment. Yeah, the swell's starting to come into the bay here. We're taking it right on the bow. Um, it's unnerving for sure. Yeah. Uh, we just did a boat check uh, with the spotlight of all the boats around us and everyone is bucking and bouncing all over the place. Yeah. including us <laughs> yeah we're we're definitely really just there's a lot of swell coming in here and uh, i think it's going to increase for the next little while before it decreases we've probably got another two three hours of this before it clocks around and starts coming and pushing out the other way so yeah right now it's just keeping an eye on things and making sure we're all solid and stuck to the ground but for now our anchor is holding just like it should be and uh the anchor alarm looks good yeah. We look solid. Everyone around us looks solid. Nobody's really sliding or moving. So, like you said, just keep in watch. Keep watch. It's all we can do. Yeah. Be vigilant for the next little while. We got, uh, there's a lot of bouncing going on. It's crazy when you look out there. Everybody is just getting tossed. Yeah. Anyway, that's the update for now. We'll keep you posted. Hopefully this Tamers, tames down a bit and we get through the clock to the next point where we're actually pointing back out to the bay. Yeah. Have we turned now? Are we done? Nope. No. We're just being to it. Hang on, it's a big one. Oh, holy shit. <laughs>
This is new. Yep. This is very new. It's all closed. Yeah, everything's closed up and the buttons are pushed. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Hey, you're better off waiting up here. Yeah. <laughs> I said I don't know if <laughs> you can see all these masts, but oh my god. These are uh, rub rail to rub rail. The wind's died and shifting. And we are to the beam in giant swell. And it's really uncomfortable. So we have a couple hours of this ahead of us before we flip right around and then the big winds start. We're starting to see a little bit of lightning off in the distance here up towards St. Vincent. But the uh, harbor here has a lot of bouncy, bouncy mast lights. Oh my God. Funny, this is uh, the closest to being seasick I've been yet and we're at an anchorage. <laughs> it's crazy, oh my God. <laughs> At this point, the swell has completely swung around, putting six-foot waves directly on the beam of the boat. As Josh had said earlier, this was the first time either of these two got seasick. And it was at anchor. Everything is on the floor now because if not, it's just gonna fall So our wind has now shifted just like it was supposed to but Unfortunately, the swell is still the same So we are slowly turning which will be more favorable for the wind But the waves are gonna be coming more and more onto our beam and we are just getting hopped <laughs> it's, it's on our beam <laughs> Yeah. It's crazy. Like this is more than mo any real sea passage we've done. We're, Ever. We're rub rail to rub rail right now. Yeah. Oh, it's insane. Man. Everything is on the floor that can Whoa. be on the floor. That is a big one. Oh my God. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, 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 oh. <laughs> if there was no swell, this would be perfect. There would be no issue whatsoever because the mountain behind is totally blocking us. But. The swell is making it a little bit difficult. Oh my God, is it ever? Not so swell. Not so swell. Oof. Yeah, this is a rodeo. It is a major rodeo. Good morning, everybody. Well, as you can see, we survived the night last night. Got your bed head. Oh, we're taking turns getting some rest and um, it is, uh, we're in the windy phase of our excitement here. Uh, we have completely flipped around now. The wind's coming up over the mountain behind us. We're getting massive, massive gusts. It's good. The seas have flattened out and stuff. Uh, we're just watching the anchor alarm still. We're getting high, high winds. It's a very, very big rain. And uh, this is going to be the uh, remainder of what we're going to deal with was this uh, tropical depression so our tropical storm i'm gonna go lay back down and half sleep listen to the wind and keep an eye on our anchor and our make sure it don't drag out the sea but so we're now getting hit with the meat of the storm As predicted, the storm has now rotated from pushing into the bay and is now hitting them dead on the nose with storm force winds.
decided to zip up the enclosure it's just a little bit nicer but man this is crazy i have never seen wind and rain like this before in my life wow it's bananas so the boat's hunting back and forth a bit like this but we were just talking about how lucky we are and we're not way up in the in the uh, harbor in here because uh, all the boats are doing it and I would just be so nervous about swinging and other boats colliding and coming loose and stuff. Woo! Look at this gust. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Thankfully we have this mountain up here that's kind of running blocker for us on some of it. Jesse here, we, uh, our anchor alarm has gone off. We've, uh, we've definitely dropped pretty far. We're out of our zone pretty good. Uh, we've reset the alarm. It appears like we have stuck back in. So we are gonna just hunker down and watch things really carefully. We can take some of the pressure off of it right now. We can fire up the engine and motor into it, which we're considering right now, but we are, we are way back from our circle. This is our original spot where the blob is right there we are back about there now. so we've, we've moved quite a bit if we have we have to uh pull up anchor and redo it we're gonna have to but we are really hoping we don't have to i don't want to do that <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to see that either <coughs> Well, the rain has stopped. We are still getting wind gusts, but you can see there are blue skies on the horizon. It looks very promising. I think we've come to the end of this craziness. It was one heck of a wild ride last night and this morning. But you know what? Hanu held fast. We did drag. Uh, we had a couple anchor flips, but all in all, I think we you know did what? pretty good. I think so too. I mean, we, we saw. Um at almost 50 mile an hour gusts so yeah. 48 miles an hour was clocked by the boat beside us we still don't have wind instruments but yeah that's fast and that's very uh, fast and 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 have swell and all that stuff last night taking it right on the beam those eight foot waves all night for hours and hours and and to uh be sitting where we're at right now i feel pretty good i do too yeah yeah, yeah it definitely we are thankful uh, that the trajectory of the storm changed and it wasn't as bad as what it was originally intended. And, and now it's time and for some sleep. The, the bulk of this wind and rain happened in the day because it would have been terrifying dragging and all that through the night. So yes. Why does it always happen at night? Why does it always happen at night? So we're exhausted sailors. Uh, we're going to probably have a nap here quite directly and then assess what needs to be fixed in a couple hours. But for now, it looks like we're safe and we're good to go. We're wet and the boat's a big mess. It's terrible. <laughs> Stuff went flying last night. Oh. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.